Well, hello, Mobility friends. Great to see you all again. Welcome to this week's Mobility Moment. I'm Jonah from Commotion. And I'm Taranik from Have A Go. Vision Zero or Zero Vision. It looks like another pathetic year for pedestrian and traffic safety with American pedestrian deaths hitting a 31-year high. New data shows that last year there was 6,590 deaths, a 4% increase. Holy smokes. Over the past decade, pedestrian deaths have just skyrocketed as consumers increasingly drive giant SUVs with poor stopping distances and limited visibility. Out of that, drivers are just always distracted by their cell phones. And you've got an incredibly sad, incredibly preventable tragedy. All right, Jonah, good news or bad news first? Do your worst. Bad news is that scooters have been seeing declining usage numbers. For example, here in LA, we're seeing half as many riders as six months ago. This is likely partly the result of the winter season and partly due to the novelty wearing off. But the role of local governments is very hard to ignore. With permit fees from $39 to $130 per vehicle imposed by cities, companies have been struggling with the profitability and have been forced to scale back the availability of scooters and raise prices, which in turn disrupts their affordability, availability, and convenience. Not to mention the most important factor in two-wheel adoption, the lack of safe and comfortable spaces to ride. But that brings us to the good news. Even in the short few months since San Francisco removed private autos from Market Street, we've seen a 30 to 36% jump in scooter ridership in a single month and a 20% bump in bicycle ridership in just a single day. When people have a safe place to ride two wheels, they ride two wheels. That's it for this week. Thank you to our friends at Belvio.